Holy <laughs> shit. What is going on again, Nerd Paraders? Thank you guys so much for coming back to hang out with us today. We're playing some more Atlas, and we're being as pirated as we can be as we sail all of the seas. And in the last episode, we had some serious PvP action. This really sparked some cool ideas with us for shipbuilding and what we could do to outmaneuver certain types of situations and basically min-max some of our opportunities. Now, if you're not familiar with the term of min-maxing, it's when you basically, in role-playing games, minimize one stat to favor the other. Like, if we're talking in D&D terms, you'd pick 18 strength and basically no intelligence. So you're just a big, dumb, stick-wielding barbarian of punishment. And that's what we've done today! We've done something amazing! We've been built big, dumb, stick-wielding barbarian punishment machines out of boats! <laughs> <laughs> and I joined you with mine and Rambo, who helps me create these ridiculous things, and I would like to introduce you guys to the twins. But before we do that, introductions are in order. I am Nick. This is Nerd Parade, guys. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for coming to hang. And now, let us show you the craziness. So, as I mentioned, we have the twins. They're two galleons. We have one that will be named Broadsider, and the other, which will be named Southpaw. I'm quite fond of these names because they really play a big role in what they actually do. Now, these boats are built in the complete mirror Im image of each other, and they are awesome. But anything that's awesome is also going to have an equally powerful weakness. These, are, these guys are extraordinarily strong, but they have an extraordinarily glaring weakness. That's why they're twins, and they will be always sailed together. That's the point of it. So what Broadsider is is a maxed out galleon with cannons all on the right side. So let me go below deck here and show you kind of what we mean. We're going to take the express since we didn't put all these ceilings on here. These are regular planks. They're a bit more sturdy than the gun ports, just a bit. And it's designed to have every single cannon on the right side. Now, Southpaw is the exact opposite. It's mirrored. All the guns are on the left side, where the weakness is the more sturdy planks placed on the right side. So these ships are designed to always be sailed next to each other for extraordinary firepower and or base devastation. Now I'm referencing the PvP video. I, I hope that wasn't me you were shooting. I referenced the PvP video earlier, and we learned in that video that ship-to-shore type of bombardment is really really powerful this was kind of designed for two purposes these two ships the twins were designed for two purposes to take almost anything out on the sea in one pass and to annihilate anything that this boat can reach from the base or these two boat i'm sorry any of these two boats can reach from the beach to bombard any base that's close enough to hit which begs the question of why would anybody in this game build a close to or on a beach. It seems like a really, really bad idea. But anyway, I digress. We're going to start talking about this, and we've even gone so far as to go to Freeport and bring back some crew members so that we can have sails manned, not all of them, and some cannons manned as we take both of these dudes out. It's going to be super freaking cool. So, in grand total, uh, this boat is really close to being overweighted, but in grand total, I think we had something along the lines of 80 cannons i'd have to go back and count them but below deck there are 26 and then above deck on each line we have as, almost as many as that you could put down feasibly uh i think each broadside is roughly going to be 86 to 90 cannonballs fired one full broadside from each so it's going to be very expensive but very very powerful once it's fully crewed now we're going to get as many levels in this guy pumped into crew as possible when we're leveling her up, so additional crew is going to be pretty big, and then maybe a little weight, maybe a little sturdiness after we've hit that sweet spot of around 80 to 90 crew. The maximum amount of crew that you can have on a galleon is just around the 100 mark at the current state of the game, because you go from level 1 to level 41 when you fully max your ship. 
Now, we're going to show you how this was actually built now, because it's a big part of both the Broadsider and the Southpaw, the deadliest twins in the sea. First things first is, for the Broadsider, for example, the right-hand side of the twins, everything on the left side has been replaced with sturdier planks. Now, the gun ports are slightly weaker, but not by much. And we've got some things in the works that it's requiring more testing, but it seems like the gun ports actually get targeted by enemy AI. We haven't nailed it down to a science, we haven't gotten it completely 100% confirmed, but that's what it appears to be for us. So we're going to be testing that out here, uh, not only with the Broadsider and Southpaw, but with another ship that's currently in design. Foreshadowing! I hope you enjoyed that large helping of it. Anyway, <laughs> outside of maxing out every gun port on the right-hand side, we've added four... Wow! Really? I mean, it is how pirates say hello, so I'll, I'll let it slide. On the bottom, we've done door frames. Door frames to act as like kind of makeshift gun ports. These makeshift gun ports are going to give us a little bit of cover in case the cannons start taking fire. You'll notice that everything has a little bit of a, a roof to it in case we get mortared down upon. That way our crew won't immediately die in the event that something terrible happens and maybe we get turned the wrong way, what have you. But we have four on the bottom. Uh, numbers are hard. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Next level. Then it gets a little more intense. We have a whole hell of a lot. I think this is something like 20. I'm going to try to count quickly. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. That's a gun port. And then if we stop there, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 on the top level. We have 80 cannons on the side of the boat. I'm not counting those three up front. 80 cannons on the side of the boat. 80 balls being shot per broadside volley. Insanity. So, which means we're going to have it, want to have at least 84 total crew. Again, minusing these three uh, cannons. Oh no, I'm sorry, 86. Yes, 86 total crew, minusing the three cannons in front to maintain the sails and every cannon. Intense. Intense ship is intense. Now, it's the exact same thing over here on Southpaw, just mirrored. 80 cannons on the left side, as well as just the three in the front. So, again, we're going to want at least 86 crew members on this guy, including the horse. The horse can come too. Well, we were going to launch the ship, but uh, it appears Donkey had far too much rum, and we need to take Donkey home. Jackie, I appreciate you dancing for Donkey, but uh, Donkey might have had one too many, or maybe you've had to one too many because you're trying to seduce the Donkey. Uh, yeah. And? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, Donkey sobered up, and I think you just earned your full-on pirate stripes because you've consumed enough rum that you'd have no qualms with taking Donkey home, or below deck. <laughs> Well, we've got some semi-favorable winds, and we're going to use this opportunity to take out our ships now. We're going to release them, and we're going to try to take out some ships of the dam to get some levels under the belts of the galleons. This might require some interesting maneuvering. I'm imagining a lot of crisscrossing is going to go that way, but the broadsider is dropped. Oh, and caps lock is on. Broadsider is ready to do all the broadsiding she can. Let's hop on the helm, and we'll drop our sails. All right, Southpaw. You're you're lagging oh. behind. We gotta stay together, like like. Don't cross the stream. Like twins. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is gonna be the hardest part, is keeping ourselves together. Where it's really gonna take a lot of like upping and downing of the sails. Yeah, we turn corners. The one on the inside's gonna have to slow down a little bit. True, it's true. But that's gonna be kind of the beauty about this. Just, I mean. I can't get a good uh, I can't get a good angle. Oh hey, what's up? Sorry, you're leaving me behind. We just gotta spot some ships. <laughs> I really can't get a good angle of how impressive this is, but let's open the gun ports. Alright, we've got our first victim straight ahead. We're still sailing very well in tandem together, which is quite impressive, I must say. So do you wanna hook it right and I'll hook it left and we'll like pincer attack them? Okay. Oh you're dropping. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna speed up. And I'll go a little bit to the to the left. This is going to be ridiculous. Oh, there. Okay, my guys are already firing. 
We might we might bump each other. We're gonna bump our uglies, but that's okay. We're okay. We're okay. <laughs> just narrowly skated by. Slow down. Let me catch up. Oh, okay. All right. I'm cutting. I'm cutting the sails. This is gonna be intense. Come on, catch the wind a little bit better. Oh, you know what? No, maybe I don't want to. Oh, he's gonna he's sailing right into death. <laughs> this guy just made the worst mistake he could ever make. He's coming oh, at yeah, me. He did. He's coming at me head on. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, that's a lot of damage. He just charged me. He just ramming speeded oh, me. Rid of him. Oops, I'm fire to your more ship. damage to our own ship. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Alright, turns, fire at will. A lot of cannonballs. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that went easy. What do you think? What do you think? That was awesome! Holy <laughs> shit! All right, we gotta line the twins back up again. Now comes the hard part. If we're in attack formation, we should just stay with our gun ports pointed toward each other, right? You think? I mean, it makes us weaker, though, so somebody could, like, sail up on our sides. True. If we're in defense, what, like, when we're sailing normally, we should be in defense formation, so in case anybody sails up on us, we're ready to go. And then attack formation, we just zig it and zag it, and then... Yep. And watch it go. Now, I don't know if you actually boomed me. Do you think that you did? I don't know, because it he was in you, and though my guys were targeting the front of his ship. It looked like... To me, that you didn't actually friendly fire me. Ah, uh, okay. It looks like it. I'm not 100% sure, but that's just kind of what it appeared to be. Uh, I would like to do another test run to see if friendly fire was a thing. So I'm going to pick up my speed. I'm going to try to casually like, cross in front of you, or we're going to line this back. Hey, oh, you turd. I was trying to see if friendly fire was a thing. <laughs> well, I outsailed your balls. That sounds super weird out of context, <laughs> but I sailed rather too fast for you. <laughs> oh my god, look, the the wall of that ship, like the side of that, that ship just looks like something out of a pirate nightmare. Yep. <laughs> it's awesome. We're pretty much evenly matched in speed, and this has to be a terrifying sight to behold. If you see this in the water, if you sail by this, would you not just want to shit? <laughs> I would want to shit my pants. I'd be, I'd be like, nope. I would sail right away from this. This is awesome. We are now currently the two baddest galleons in the sea. I've got your right, you've got my left, and we're perfectly covered for any type of warfare. We can sink almost anybody with good captaineering skills. Oh, I'm just going to give you a little yep. kiss here real quick. We're basically inside of each other. We're now conjoined twins! Yep. <laughs> we were not separated at birth. We we got kept together. It's like that movie stuck on you. Do you want to be Matt Damon or Greg Kinnear? Matt Damon. Okay. Damn it. Everybody wants to be Matt Damon. <laughs> We've got another unsuspecting victim. All right. I'm going to... Well, yeah. I'll... Uh... There's two. Yeah, there is two. All right. I'll hook it around to the right if you want to hook it around to the left. And we'll try to get both of them in a pincer attack. There's one on our left, too. Is there? Oh, I see the... I see the... The fog, I just don't see him. All right, turning ever so slightly, going towards the island. Let's try to trap these two turds in between us. I'll go for the one on the on the left if you want to hit the one on the right. Oh, you're already right. firing. <laughs> Keep that wind. We're not even fully crewed, and I'm having so much fun doing this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, crap. All right. We're going to find out if we actually damage each other here, probably. Full broadside, let's go. There goes my broadside. Oh that my good. god, that was only a level 5, <laughs> but that thing just exploded. Alright, same thing with this guy. We've... Right, I'm going to slow down and hold fire and throw so we can both try it at the same time. Okay. I'm getting wind, I'm going to fully open my sails. You're slightly ahead of me. Do you want to go through the yellow one or the green one? Oh, it's the yellow one? Yellow one. I th it looked yellow to me. It's slightly higher. We'll kill the green one first. Okay. I'm cutting it. I'm cutting it hard. <laughs> me this, too. This thing drives like a boat! Stay right there. Stay right there, you unsuspecting piece of shipwreck. <laughs> Do I need to cut for you? Yeah, a little bit. Cutting speed. I think we're good. Targeting. Oh, you... 
You dick! Open fire! fire. Oh. <laughs> my. God. Onward to that yellow one. Yeah, alright. Uh, oh, we can... We could do kind of a interesting little maneuver here. Since he's on both of our... He's on my good side, but he's on your bad side. Yep. So I'm going to try to go around his nose if you think you can cut around his ass. Okay, I'll work on his nose. I need his ass. <laughs> <laughs> these, are just, set me up there. these are just pirate terms. Nobody call attention to it. Totally fine. I'm losing wind a little bit, but it's going to be a... Oh, you might lose wind on that. Yeah, I'm losing it. Yeah, he just pulled... He pulled a... He turned on a dime, too. Oh, no! Bad Captain Earring! I'll save you, Southpaw! <laughs> I'm coming in hard. That sounds super weird out of context. Just pirate things. Boop! <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! And we're not even fully crewed! We took these guys out at level one. As you can see, Broadsider is still level one. Let's see how many levels we got from slaying three ships of the damned really quickly. And I got 22 levels, which is all going to go in a crew. And we can take these guys to Freeport and get them fully manned. Nice. We want to get at least... I said it was at least 80-something crew, so we're, we're putting all this in here. I got 81 potential crew uh, for Broadsider. Oh, we got... Turn, 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 turn. Am I going to hit? I'm not, at the, I'm not at the wheel! I lost the wind! Boop! It's okay. It's just a... It's just a ship kiss. It's fine. Oh, yeah, we're losing the... Me along. <laughs> We're losing the wind hard. Okay, we are now a T-bone ship. We just, this is how we drive. So I am projecting Southpaw to protect my front sides, and I've got the right. Now we need a third galleon to just push each and everybody throughout the seas <laughs> ever so ridiculously. Oh shit, we're about to put these two demons into the test. The actual ultimate test. We've got an enemy galleon over here. Mine and I are trying to fidget our way into attack position. I'm going to cut my stuff a little bit just so I can hit this guy. I'm about to come up on him again. Nope, there goes another sail. Holy <laughs> shit. Dude, he stopped moving! <laughs> he stopped- we, we took out everything! We drove by him and took out everything! We killed your company South Boss sunk the dick butt! <laughs> Dude, we, we swooped by him and took out everything! We had dick for wind and I have like one plank damage from some of the- some of the shit that I took. Oh my god. Well, I'm gonna repair my one leaky hole. Uh, do you think we can salvage anything from that boat? It was legitimately just a skeleton. We could give it a try. We, There's gotta be something in it. We destroyed everything. We passed by that thing and it the boat just fell apart. It just fell apart. Well, there you have it. The twin demons of the sea in action. That was probably one of the craziest things that I've seen thus far in Atlas. And I am, I am basically speechless. I couldn't believe how quickly we turned that galleon into a freaking skeleton right in front of us. But that is going to wrap up the episode for us today, guys. Let us know what you think of the twin demons of the sea. Left nut, right nut. I mean, Broadsider and Southpaw. Let us know what you think in the comments below. If you liked this episode and you thought the destruction was amazing, please hit the thumbs up button for us. Let us know that you like it that way. If you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel for some more cool videos just like this one. Or don't. Who the fuck cares? What do I know? But most importantly of all, I want you to remember to take care of yourselves out there. Stay awesome, and we'll catch you in the next episode.